Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and welcome back to episode number 2 of the Bayern Super League career mode of FIFA 19. We started this series last week and you guys absolutely loved it on the first episode. Leave in your comments, leave in your like, all that good stuff. You supported it so much, showed so much love. We are back for episode number 2 this time, so smack a like if you are keen for this video. Subscribe. For some more FIFA 19 career mode content coming at you on the regular. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Comment down below any suggestions or transfers as we are going to be addressing all the comments that you guys left last video. So if you want to be featured in an upcoming video, make sure to leave a comment down below. You might be lucky to be in the next episode. But yeah, you guys did a good job in leaving all the suggestions down below. We're going to be getting into them right now. And the first thing on the list to tick off is that Tane is now switched to a number 17, which you guys recommended in the comments. And Timo Werner is now number 20. You guys also wanted me to show some results from the Super League fixtures. As you can see here on the right hand side, Tottenham beat Barcelona, Juve beat Olympic Lyon, Monaco defeated Napoli, Chelsea defeated Sevilla away. In the Milan derby, it was 2-2. PSG defeated Real Madrid. Liverpool drew 1-1 with Borussia Dortmund. Arsenal drew 1-1 with Man City and that is it for the first round. Obviously we got a lot of decent fixtures coming up in today's episode. We're going to be starting off with pretty much all the Italian teams here as you can see AC Milan at home, Napoli away from home, then we go off to England with Manchester United, then to PSG, then Olympic Lyon, and then Juventus away from home. And you guys also said in the comments as well to train Nabri, Coman, Davies, and Renato Sanchez, but in the training development, I've put Kai Havertz, Coman, and Alfonso Davies in there. So they're going to be getting the weekly training every week once that starts up. And now the most important part, the transfer suggestions that you guys left in the comments below. You left a few and we're going to be going through them now. Obviously, I saw a lot for Lucas Hernandez as he actually signed for Bayern in real life. And of course, Benjamin Pavard is on his way to Bayern Munich next season as well. So obviously those two were the obvious options that you guys suggested down below. Yannick Carrasco was obviously an option. He's in the Chinese league, but he recently moved there, so he can't move. Anderson Talisco was also another option I saw, which I was willing to go for. But yeah, he just moved to the Chinese Super League, so we won't be able to pick him up yet. Jimenez is another strong centre-back option I've been looking at and wanting to go for this episode. Gareth Bale was a big one. I saw people leave in the comments down below. Eriksen I also added to the list as a decent player to go for as well. And last but not least, Skriniar, which I saw in the comments down below. But considering we already have him in the Chelsea career mode, I'm willing to go after someone a bit different like a Jimenez, like an Umtiti, which will be going after this episode. We need a big, big defender to replace Jerome Boateng. Umtiti seems to be like a likely candidate, but he looks like he's a bit too expensive. So Jimenez is going to be our backup, but we're going to be going for Umtiti to first go in for the center back option. I reckon 70 is the highest I'll go. Because, yeah, we need to save some money here. 70 mil. Oh, they're considering it. So 70 mil for him, Titi. They're not sure, but it looks like we're going to be rejected by the look of our faces. All right, so Jose Maria Jimenez is our next backup option. He's a bit cheaper and has a bit more potential than Umtiti. So I'm willing to use him. And of course, he's got a face scan in the game, which is always good. Let's see what they say about 30 million pounds straight out. Diego Simeone wants 48. Let's go 38.5. See how they react to that. Diego Simeone he wants 41. All right, we'll try getting for under 40 million, 39 mil. Surely they're happy with that. And that is good, 39 mil for Jose Maria Jimenez. That seems to be like a more cheap option and will leave us open to buy more players in this transfer window too. See what happens with the Umtiti deal though. We're gonna simulate forward, see what happens with both those deals. See if Umtiti accepts or rejects the 70 million, but I'm leaning more towards uh, Jimenez. All right guys, so they both accepted those, but I'm only gonna go after one and I'm leaning more towards Jimenez just because we're literally saving 30 million pounds. It's gonna open us up to signing a few more players in this window, which I think you guys would want to see me sign a few more players rather than go all out on Umtiti, who I really, really wanted, but 
70 million compared to 40 is just, yeah, 39. It's just night and day, really. So we're going to go after Jimenez and then hopefully buy a few more players with the money we have left over. All right, contract negotiations. Let's see how Jimenez, he's going to be important to the team. He's accepted that. Four-year contract for the Uruguayan. That is fine by me. No release clause for him. 92K a week they want, and we still have... 112 million pounds to spend in this window so at least two more solid signings we're gonna go ahead and accept that jose maria jimenez has joined the super league and we have a weekend atletico madrid here fellow super league opponents in here by signing the uruguayan there he is in his bayern munich shirt just fits him so well looks so good on him jose maria jimenez welcome to bayern munich and there we have it atletico madrid except 39 million bid from fc bayern munich for jose maria jimenez i feel like he's going to be a great addition to the side and he's going to definitely play a big role in us hopefully trying to win the super league this season jose maria jimenez welcome to FC Bayern München. And you can take a look at his stats there. 90 jumping, 89 aggression, 88 marking, 86 side tackle, 85 strength as well. And he's only 23 years of age. Jose Maria Jimenez, what a great pickup. So we're going to go ahead and continually weaken Atletico Madrid Super League opponents. And this one is actually based on realistic, based on realism as well. Because Lucas Hernandez is actually going to Bayern Munich in real life this summer after the season is finished. So Lucas Hernandez, we're going to go ahead and buy him. We're going to emulate real life in this Super League career mode. Weaken Atletico Madrid further and, you know, increase our depth in our team at center back and left back. Hopefully we can agree a fee for the Frenchman and he can come to Bayern Munich. 35 million Diego Simeone. He is going to think about it for a bit, but we've agreed a fee there. Uh, we're going to continue to negotiate with Lucas Hernandez, being a bit tricky in this situation. 36.5 and a 25% sell-on clause. Let's see. And they've accepted that. Diego Simeone, after all that negotiating, finally accepted. Let's go straight into negotiations with Lucas Hernandez. All right, the Frenchman wants an important role. We're going to give it to him. He is going to be... Cover for David Alaba and another backup center back. Four-year contract. Except no release clause. 100 million. Let's see what he says. And Lucas Hernandez is happy with that. The Frenchman, the World Cup winner, is on his way to Bayern Munich in the FIFA 19 Super League career mode. And there he is in his Bayern shirt, ready for next season in real life. But now in FIFA 19, he has joined us here for the Super League. We've continued to weaken uh, Atletico Madrid in this episode with Jimenez and Hernandez. I'm very happy with those two signings. And there we have it, FC Bayern win race for Lucas Hernandez. He is there ready to take on the Super League with his new teammates, the Frenchman. Welcome to Bayern Munich. And there you can see his stats. A very, very solid player. 22 years of age, 83 rated. He is going to be a great addition to the side. And before we start to make even more transfers in this window, as after that a little deal with Lucas Hernandez, we still have 75.9 million left. I'm sure once we adjust it, we'll have a bit less. We probably have around 70 mil to play with, so we can still go after 1-1. One, one really big signing. Our first home game of the season in the Super League. We're going to get straight into it. It's going to be the same lineup from the first episode, from the first game against Roma. Let's hope to get off to winning ways at home in front of the home fans. All right, ultimate difficulty at home against AC Milan Allianz Arena Super League. Let's go. All right, first Super League match at home. Let's get straight into it. No messing around. AC Milan, the Premier League graphic still looks a bit weird, but we'll get used to it. Noya is going to lead us out today. And that is how AC Milan will be lining up for today's match. Let's Get straight into it. We're underway here at the Allianz Arena. He's found Lewandowski and Reina makes a decent stave early on. Decent ball. It goes to no one. And Goretzka's done a little bicycle and it's hit the cross by Lewandowski. He's going to get the header. And we've got it 1-0. Lewandowski with the header. It's his first goal of the Super League. And we get off to a great start here at home at the Allianz Arena. AC Milan go 1-0 down. And what a bicycle kick effort it was from Goretzka. Look at that. That would have been amazing if it went in. That would have been the best goal I've scored on FIFA 19. But Lewandowski jumped up high for the header and looped it over Reina from a short distance. 
And what a goal it was from the Polish marksman Lewandowski. Reyna had no chance of that. We go 1-0 up thanks to Robert Lewandowski. Messi, Neuer come out. No, AC Milan nearly get the goal there. Luckily, Neuer came out and did the business. Oh, AC Milan have struck. And we have conceded our first goal of the Super League. A super effort from Suso. And they have gotten the equaliser here. 18 minutes in. We have conceded. And wow, what a strike it was from Suso. We failed to clear it. AC Milan got the ball back. It only took a few passes. And Suso was open for the shot. A great shot from the Spaniard. And we concede the equaliser. It's the first goal we've conceded. But on the edge of the box. Can he find a decent ball? He's going to give it in. And that is a goal. It's a double for Robert Lewandowski. What a goal it was. The volley pays off. And the Polish man gets his second goal to put us in the lead for the second time. 26 minutes. And we've gotten ourselves the second. What a strike. Kimmich took it out wide. Crossed it in somehow. It was a very awkward cross. But Lewandowski did the rest. The near post finish. The right footed volley. Getting us the 2-1 lead. And what a finish from Lewandowski. It's a double. We go 2-1 up. Sane. He's going to strike it. And Reyna makes a really good save there to prevent the third from going in. Leroy Sane strike. That's going to be a half time, guys. We go into the break. 2-1 up thanks to Robert Lewandowski. But we've conceded our first goal of the Super League. Let's hope for a decent second 45. It's Oh, he slotted it through to Nabry somehow. Kimmich has got to it. He's going to find James Rodriguez and Reyna with a great save there to deny the Colombian. He's going to strike one from distance and Reyna yet again denying the Polish man his hatchery. There for someone to hit. Hummels. Hummels is going to get a go. Hummels is going to get a second go. Hummels is going to try to get a third go. Goretzka is going to take a shot and it's rocketed off the crossbar. We're getting so unlucky here and... That's just wasted from Robert Lewandowski. Sane charging at the AC Milan defense. And we're going to strike that one. It just goes wide from Thiago. It's going to be Werner, Havertz, and Kingsley Coman coming on to see the game out. Got space to work with. He's going to strike it. And what a strike it would have been. It would have been his debut goal there. Rucketed off the post. And that is going to be full time. We end up holding on for the 2-1 victory here against AC Milan. We continue our winning streak in the Super League against Italian teams. And we continue on. We've got Napoli next. But let's get into some transfer business now. Alright, so our first training session with the Davies, Coman and Havertz goes down underway. And this is how we sit in the Super League, still top of the table alongside Spurs and PSG. Arsenal right behind us in fourth. Real Madrid and Barcelona right outside the top four as well. Manchester United in eighth. And yeah, the table looking pretty good. Napoli, our next opponents, are sitting in 18th, so that might be a decent match there. As you can see here on the right hand side, Barca won 3-1 against Juventus. Roma copped a 3-1 defeat to Real Madrid. PSG beat Atletico Madrid 1-0. Tottenham defeated Napoli 2-1. Borussia Dortmund drew with Olympic Lyon. And Arsenal won 1-0 against Chelsea in a London derby. So the Super League is uh, yeah, well and truly underway here. Now, my next two signings that I'm looking to get would be a huge marquee signing in Gareth Bale for that right-hand side to swap out with Nabry and also Benjamin Pavard if we can afford him because it's, yeah, it's realistic yet again because he's joined in real life. So I would want to do that. However, Gareth Bale would come first for that right-wing position. It would be our final huge signing. Uh, so that we could go ahead and win the Super League and weaken Real Madrid. Continue to weaken Madrid teams as we already weakened Atletico Madrid. Now we're going to go ahead and weaken, weaken Real Madrid. Let's go in here for him. 43.5 million is valued at. Hopefully we can get him for a decent price and then go on and afford Pavar. So now I've kind of realized that we can only afford Bale. So we're going to have to wait a bit for that because, yeah, we obviously need to raise a few funds to sign him. And then we have this game against Napoli coming up, which we might simulate. And guys, we have a Carabao Cup match up against Inter. So let me know if I should play the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup down below in the comments. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Carabao Cup and FA Cup 
Should we just get knocked out of them straight away and yet not worry about them again? Or should we count them as silverware towards this Super League? Because the series is a Super League. But if you want me to play these other games up against, uh, you know, the different teams in the Super League for the Caribou Cup and FA Cup, let me know. So we're going to go ahead and simulate this match up against Napoli. It's the same 11 that we fielded. Uh, throughout the first uh, few Super League games and they've also lost to Spurs and Monaco 2-1 so hopefully uh, we can get a yet another win and make it three in a row. Sane gets us off to a great start there. Eight minutes in, Leroy gets us the first goal to break the deadlock. Can we continue on in the second half? Lewandowski misses a penalty which is uh, quite surprising considering his form but Sane gets the double there to put us 2-0 up against Napoli. Hopefully we can keep the clean sheet and hopefully no one gets injured. We're going to skip it and we get the 2-0 victory away against Napoli at the San Paolo. So three wins in a row in the Super League. We're going to do some training. I don't know how to feel about Carabao Cup against Inter or just the Carabao Cup in general. But uh, I'm going to put out a severely weaker side for this one. Real Madrid have come in for Thiago Alcantara, our Spanish central midfielder. I'm just going to go ahead and reject it because, yeah, yet again, don't want to sell... A great buy-in player, and yeah, he's been playing really well the past few games. All right, we're going to be trying one more time for Gareth Bale. The 8.5, and they've agreed for that. Real Madrid have gone ahead and accepted Gareth Bale for 58.5 million pounds. All right, let's go ahead and negotiate his contract. Let's see what the Welshman wants. Sure, first team role, three-year contract at Bayern Munich. Disregard his release clause. They want 119 mil for his release clause. Um, that is a lot of money. It's more than we spent on him. I'll just accept it. And they want 170k a week for Gareth Bale. That is fine by me. The Welshman comes to Real Madrid. We've weakened yet another Madrid side. And Gareth Bale is on his way to Bayern Munich. And there he is after all the drama, all the havoc in going in and signing him. Gareth Bale finally joins and we have the Welshman on our hands there. You can see his stats, 95 sprint speed, 93 acceleration, 92 shot power, 87 free kick accuracy too. So Gareth Bale, the ex-Tottenham man, ex-Real Madrid now, has joined Bayern in the Super League. And he's going to slot in straight for Nabry there on that right-hand side. He can also play on the left wing and at striker. So yeah, we've uh, considerably strengthened our attack there. Now we're going ahead and fielding a really, really, really weak side here. It's pretty much all our lowest rated players, including uh, Gareth Bale and uh, Hernandez. But we're going into this Carabao Cup match against Inter. I'm kind of hoping we get knocked out because I couldn't really care about the Carabao Cup matches and the FA Cup matches that we have. But yeah, let me know if we should play them. But the Super League, yet again, is our main focus. But we're going to skip it. And we, we end up winning 5-4 on penalties. So when I want to lose, we go ahead and win against Inter Milan. We advance to the next round of the Carabao Cup. But yeah, let me know if we should play the cup competition. We've now reached deadline day. Considering we have very, very little money to spend, 6 mil, we're probably going to be relaxing here on deadline day. Not doing too much business, but we've got an offer here for David Alaba from Manchester City. And yet again, the Austrian probably will be going nowhere because, yeah, he's a great Bayern Munich player. All right, we're into the last hour. It doesn't look like we're going to be selling or buying anyone, but we're going to take a window and see uh, what happened as we're pretty much involved in all the top deals here. Sane. Muller to Man United, we got Gareth Bale, we got Kai Havertz, and then there's Andrea Balotti there to Arsenal. Cramerich went to AC Milan, of course we signed Timo Werner, but Ahimi went to Juventus. Jimenez, of course, we acquired him this episode. Jonathan Tarr went to Valencia. Boateng, of course, went to Chelsea. Muniain went to Inter. We, of course, got Lucas Hernandez. Inaki Williams went to Wolves. Doesn't really affect the Super League. Real Madrid purchased Tejas. Sergio Roberto went to uh, went to Arsenal. And that is pretty much it. A quiet transfer window. All the transfers are pretty much us doing the business. But, yeah, not too many big transfers. And that is going to end deadline day. You can see there we spent $274 million and we sold $128 million worth of players. This is the lineup. We're going to go into the Manchester United game with we're at home yet again against the Red Devils but Bale is going to start 
and uh, Jose Maria Jimenez is going to start at the back with Hummels and just see how the new signings can go. And All right, here we are back at home. It's going to be our first Premier League opposition we're going to come up against. We've faced all Italian teams so far. All right, let's get into it. And guys, Gareth Bale has got the number 10 jersey. Let me know. If he should keep that, it's it's Robin's old number. So, yeah, let me know about that. Diaski's going to head that. No, he's not. It's going to fall to Hammers and De Gea makes a good save. Player up against Man United is going to strike it and De Gea makes a save. Now when Diaski's going to give it back to Hammers, he's going to have a go from long range. And we've gotten the first goal here within the opening 10 minutes. It's the Colombians' first goal of the Super League. Hammers Rodriguez. What a strike. The little one-two with Robert Lewandowski and he... Smashes at home against Manchester United. What a start from the lads. 1-0 up. And the Colombian struck that one with the left boot into the bottom left-hand corner. Lewandowski with the assist. We'll get a better angle here. What a strike from James Rodriguez. The first goal, hopefully, of many in the Super League. And we're off to the perfect start here against Manchester United. Thiago Alcantara is going to strike it. And then it's going to fall to Sane. And then De Gea is going to save it. Thiago's seen Sane on the edge of the area and he gets the second so, so close. It's come straight off the post. It's going to be half time, guys. We're going to the break. All us so far and yeah, Man United really haven't shown anything. We needed to get the second, but hopefully we can get it in the second half. Bale. Oh, Lewandowski has threaded the ball through to Gareth Bale for his first goal in Bayern Munich colours. That's the debut goal, our new Number 10, Gareth Bale, the Welshman, gets his goal and puts us 2-0 up against Manchester United. What a way to start your debut. And he does some push-ups there just to get the crowd going. And we get the second. It was a lovely threaded ball in from Robert Lewandowski. Gareth Bale just opened up the body then, slotted it into the bottom left-hand corner. The new number 10 gets a life in the Super League off to the best of starts and it's a debut goal for him as well. Gareth Bale, welcome to Bayern Munich. What a way to announce yourself in front of the home fans as well. Alright, so Nabry and Havertz are going to come on for Gareth Bale and James Rodriguez. Diaski Lewandowski lays it off to Leroy Sane. Can he put it into the back of the net? De Gea gets down low. Uh-oh, Man United are in here. It's going to be Raphael. And we have saved that with Neuer. And that is full-time, a 2-0 victory against United. One goal in the first half, one goal in the second. Comfortable in the end, we get the three points. And it's our fourth win in a row in the Super League. We're so far, we're perfect. All right, some more training for Davies, Coman, and Havertz. But Davies goes up to a 73. Of course, we're still sitting top of the Super League. We are by far, uh, yeah, the best team so far. Real Madrid right behind us, as well as Spurs and PSG with nine points. We have an away game up against PSG. We're headed off to France for our first battle against French opponents, which we're going to play. And then we're going to see our game against Lyon at home after this. So, yeah, this is going to be our game of the episode. Hopefully, we can end it on a win. All right, we have a top of the table clash up against PSG. Obviously, they are very, very close behind us. We're the best offensive team in the league. Uh, only conceded one against AC Milan. This is how PSG are going to be lining up. Buffon is going to be in goal. Alves, Marquinhos, Kimbempe, and Felipe Luiz. Di Maria, Draxler on the wings. And up top, it's going to be Mbappe and Cavani. We've got the same lineup as last game up against Man United. Let's see what we can do here in Paris. Defense here. Can he take a strike from outside the box? And it's going to be the Polish man getting us off to the best of starts here in Paris. Away at PSG. And Lewandowski have scored with our first shot on goal. We're 1-0 up within six minutes. We just opened up the defense there. Presnel Kimbempe just pressured too much. And we just had the open shot at goal. What a finish from our Polish marksman. We go 1-0 up. It's another goal for Robert Lewandowski in the Super League. Thiago. Oh, no. Lewandowski again. It was nearly the double. Sane got there, but oh, that would have been a good start. Oh, Cavani's through, and that could have been a goal for PSG. Hammers is surely going to find Gareth Bale for the second, and he's put it wide with his weak foot. Gareth Bale needed to take that on his left, and that would have been a certain goal, but it just goes past the post. Goretzka's going to take the strike. 
And Jimenez is going to take the header. That's his first goal for the club. The Uruguayan center back has got us the second here from the corner. It's a header. You don't see many of those these days on FIFA 19. A goal from a corner, especially the header. And the Uruguayan leaped up high, slotted it into the bottom left with the header. It hit the ground first. Buffon, don't know what he was doing there, but he, he's let it in. And that's the first goal for Jose Maria Jimenez, the Uruguayan at Bayern Munich in the Super League. The centre-back is off to a great start here in Bayern. Oh, Sane's headed that on to Gareth Bale. Oh, I thought that was the third. That is going to be half-time with 2-0 up against PSG. So far, so good. But let's see what the second half brings. Through to James. Surely that is going to be the third and Buffon comes out well. Oh, James Rodriguez has found... Robert Lewandowski, what can we do here? We found someone in the middle. It's going to be Gareth Bale on the end of it. And we can't get the third. Sane can't header it well. And yeah, another chance wasted. Lewandowski has floated it through to Sane. Oh, that could have been the third. We're missing so many chances this game. Right, so uh, Gnabry, Werner and Havertz going to come on for the final five minutes. Havertz, Werner. Surely finds Nabry here. Nabry can get past the defense. He's got the pace to burn. He's just come off the bench. Can he get the third? He does. And Serge Nabry with the third goal to secure the three points here in Paris. A great away trip to PSG. And we have got our fifth win in a row in the Super League. We are dominating so far. And Serge Nabry straight off the bench. The super sub gets his first goal in the Super League. Making it 3-0, getting us the three points and beats Buffon between the legs. The German is off and running. And that is going to be full-time 3-0 against PSG. Yet again, another three points, another clean sheet and another great away day victory. All right, it's going to be the regular start going into the game against Leon at home, which we're going to simulate here. Hopefully get the three points and make it six out of six in the Super League. But let's see. James Rodriguez gets us off to the perfect start. Second minute goal. We're 1-0 up against yet again another French side. I'm going to go ahead and skip. We end up getting the 2-0 win. Dembele missed a penalty for Olympic Lyon, but Rodriguez, the Colombian, got the second. A brace for Rodriguez, yet another win, yet another clean sheet as well. Our defense has been impeccable so far. But this is how the Super League is looking so far. Of course, we are 6 out of 6, 17 goals for 1 against. We have started this Super League off so well. Uh, the right side of the table, Spurs are in second right behind us. Five points behind us in second. Liverpool, AC Milan make up the top four. Barcelona, AS Monaco, Real Madrid and are right outside the top four as well. And as we continue down, PSG in 10th. Juventus, our next opponents, in 11th. And the relegation zone is currently Roma, Napoli and Sevilla. So two Italian sides struggling in there. Only on one point out of six games. Sevilla also in there as well. Atletico Madrid nearly in the, in the relegation zone too. So very, very interesting things happening here in the Super League. Of course, we are dominating. So yeah, guys, our next match is up against Juventus. Then we take on relegation strugglers Sevilla. Manchester City and then Chelsea in the next episode. We're probably going to continue on into November with Barca and Dortmund. So many, many cracker games to be played here in the Super League with Bayern. We're currently dominating with this side. Hopefully you guys did enjoy episode number two. If you did, make sure to slap a like on the video. Subscribe for some more FIFA 19 career mode content on the channel. Follow me on Twitter. It is in the description. Comment down below all that good stuff. I've been BCHD, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the very next episode.